This is amazing. Now we have Task Weaver user interface. Now you can create agents, interact with the agents, assign the task to an agent using user interface without any coding involved. You can create charts like this and much more. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Task Viewer user interface. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to install this, how to use this, and how to assign tasks to agents. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. I have already covered Task Weaver, a code first agent framework in a complete different video, step by step. I will link that in the description below. In this, we are going to see how to install the user interface. First step, git clone Microsoft slash Task Weaver and then click enter. Next, navigate to that folder. Next, conda create hyphen and Task Weaver Python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate Task Weaver and then click enter. Next, pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. Now we need to install one more module which is important for the user interface to work. That is chainlet. To do that, pip install chainlet and then click enter. Now chainlet got installed. Now if you open that folder in VS Code Editor, this is how the folder structure will look like. In the project folder, when you click taskweaver config.json, that's where you set your API base, API key and the model name. You can get the API key from OpenAI website. Once you enter that here, you can save this file. Even in your terminal, make sure you export OpenAI API key, if at all it's required in the future, and then click enter. Now navigate to the playground slash UI folder. Inside that folder, type chainlit run app.py and then click enter. This will automatically start the application in this URL. Now I'm going to navigate to this URL. And here is the user interface. Here you can ask the code first agent framework to complete a task. Now I'm going to ask in the chat section, I'm going to type plot chart for Apple stock price and then click enter. Now it's automatically setting up the required agent to complete the task. It gave me this chart. I'm going to be more specific to plot Apple stock price for the past 10 days. Plot Apple stock price for the past 10 days. And here is the response. Apple stock price for the past 10 days. You can even click the new chat to create a new chat. To go to the previous history, you can click the show history icon. There you should be able to see all the tasks you created. As simple as that. This is just a basic example for you to get started. You can even ask it to do advanced tasks. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.